So a Virgo, this person, I mean, great things are happening for you, but this person needs to come to some form of acceptance about this relationship. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. This is your general, your general love reading for March. We're going to take a look and see it showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is timestamp, uh, should be in the description bar below, it should say start reading, just click on that. And it will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on the camera. As I always say, please just take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. Okay. And of course, if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as sometimes, you know, there just could be messages throughout this that uh, jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we, we create our own reality. Hey, so give me a moment to just uh, finish laying this part, take them in and I will be so Virgo, let's start your reading and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So this is a kind of a simple straight to the point type of reading. So that's what I'm, how I'm going to uh, present it because I feel like there was an ending, definitely an ending, uh, looking at the past, an ending which you felt was maybe for some of you coming for a while this is something maybe you might have been mulling over for a long time um but you felt it was the right thing to do putting into this for some for some reason i feel like it has to do with maybe your career or something that you wanted to work on but definitely an ending around this that you instigated uh, your person of course they wasn't naturally too happy about 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 things about that um yeah, feeling pessimistic, you know, not happy at all really about that decision that you made, but it didn't deter them from still seeing you as someone that they are collaborating with in some way. So as much as you would have told, <laughs> yeah, you've got the star card there, as much as you would have told this person, okay, so um, you know, you know, this relationship has come to an end. I want to move on. I want to kind of, you know, spread my wings, whatever, or however you presented it. This person heard you, uh, they took it in. They weren't too happy about it, but it didn't change their mindset in terms of how they still saw you. They just kind of saw it as something that needed to be fixed or mended or healed with the star card there. Yeah. Just wanted to, uh, <laughs> yeah, did you see that? And then on top of that, we've got the eight of pentacles, which talks about putting work in. So yeah, this person really didn't process or digest or accept, let's say that, accept what was being said to them, uh, which brings us to where it is now. There's still this type of supportive, space that you're in I feel like it's more so coming from this person here because for you it's like you're 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 I feel like for a lot of you you've achieved something there's something that you're kind of achieved whether that's your career or whether that's maybe losing weight or just advanced in some way but there's recognition for work that you've put in or something that you've achieved or established represented by the queen the queen of wands there and again, it's this person being happy for you. You know, this person being happy for you. I feel like they're responding to you how they would respond if they were still in a relationship with you because there's still this very much 
Uh, there's still this uh, supportive, understanding, patient stance that they have when it comes to you. And that's simply because, let's, let's touch on you first. Your focus very much is, is on what it is that you're doing, whether that's your career, whatever it is that you're uh, working on or have established or you've achieved, your focus is very much on that. Uh, we've got the, the six of wands and the four in your challenge position. So, you know, yes, your success has gotten in the way of this relationship, but I feel like that's something that, you know, you, how do I put that? That's something that you're not going to mull over it too much. I feel like you've mulled over it already. Maybe there is some processing that needs to be done there with the, with the four uh, there, but I feel like for the most part, for you, it's a case of, you know, I'm enjoying where I'm at. I'm focusing on what it is that I'm doing. I'm focusing on what it is that I want to achieve. And that's represented also and mirrored by what it is that you're wanting, which is Ten of Pentacles. So you're after something. You're after uh, a success or an achievement of something. Something that's going to have, uh, something that you feel is going to have a positive impact in your life in some way. It's going to change it in a positive way. So that's very much your focus. You know, yes, it caused you to, you know, end something with this person. But I feel like you're okay with that. The The thing is more about them. Like I said, it's like they've still got this supportive. They're still responding to you how they wouldn't have done had they been in a relationship, an established relationship. And that's simply because this person is finding it difficult or not even maybe acknowledging that they need to come to terms with this ending and go through their process of what they need to do in order for them to embrace that star card which represents healing fixing mending um feeding their self even and actually making it a personal journey with the four making it something that's personal and not because i feel like how do i put that this person is very much it's like they heard you, but they're not really hearing you. They're still responding. They're still calling you, still giving you, you know, acting exactly how they would usually act to the best of, uh, you know, as much as they can based on how much you're allowing them to. But it feels like their actions and what they're feeling and thinking is not really change. And that's preventing them from moving into this acceptance space and actually coming to terms with the ending of this and making it a personal journey and experience for them as well this healing this fix and this feeding of their self and that kind of reflects again on what it is that they're wanting which is to first is not we're looking to give up i mean i mean gosh they're not looking to they're just not hearing you we've got the emperor and we've got this the dying you know they want to move this forward they want to progress they want to advance this and they're looking to take the reins on it you know not accepting no for an answer it's like i'm gonna impose myself impose myself on you i'm gonna impose myself yeah on you if that makes sense it's that type of thing yeah where with you it's like well you know <laughs> i'm too busy you know achieving this and feeling good and having recognition for the what the work that i've done and where I'm at and you know blasking in that it's more about this person cross watcher so um who knows what the next step is usually we'll move into the extended version of the reading and we'll look at, at that and see you know what 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 their next action is and where this kind of leads to but again April um look out for that guys but as it stands as it stands, keep doing you. Just do, just keep doing you. I mean, however, this person, you know, has got some acceptance to do, some uh, surrendering, some letting go to go through. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. 